In this video, I'm gonna give you steps, in my opinion, on how to get started in the stock market if you are a beginner, so stay tuned. Making a hundred thousand dollars. Characters I met along the way that stepped in and are a big part of my story. There, so stay tuned. I kind of wanted to make this video as basic and as straightforward as I can. I get asked this a lot and I kind of wanted to give the beginners a blueprint of what to do to get started in the stock market. So if you already haven't clicked the A to Z link of how to get started in the stock market in the videos, this video will kind of explain to you as well of what I would recommend in steps to do to get involved in the stock market. If you decide to get started in the stock market, I would recommend finding a decent broker first of all. Depending where you are based in the world, this will, this will have an impact on your decision on what you can choose. So you won't have as good as options as maybe the guys in the States have if you're in Europe or Ireland or the UK, whatever the case may be. So you'd be kind of limited. So find yourself a decent broker that works for you. Secondly, I want you to educate yourself by investing in an education that, that either falls into your budget or falls into a trading style that you would like to eventually go into. But before you get worried about your trading style, I want you to in, educate yourself in the overall stock market on how things, how things work overall to get a better understanding of it. And then you can kind of tweak on what trading styles suit you. So find an education source that works. You can, you can do it for free on YouTube as well if you like. Again, it's time consuming. It's not great success on it, but if, you, if maybe your budget's tight and you just want to learn, you can certainly save through YouTube and maybe educate yourself to a certain extent. And then you possibly will have to go further and take a plunge into purchasing an education. After you do these two things, I want you to start trading uh, on a demo platform to get used to how the, how the live seat of a trader works. This will help you build up confidence and get you kind of an understanding of what it's like to see things play out. One tip I want to give you guys is don't put walls and objectives in front of yourselves. Don't say I want to complete 10 courses or I want to have 10,000 before I start or I can't do it yet because I need a new computer. Stop putting object objections in front of your goals. If you really want to do it, you'll just do it and you'll work at what you have. If you only have $1,000 or you can only afford that course or only this broker, whatever the case is, just work at what you have and do it. Stop using excuses and stop putting barriers up in the way because if you really want to do it, you will do it. So go through it, stick to your plan and go forward. And after all this, if this has all worked for you, I want you to start trading and I want you to start trading and looking for small returns. This is very important. I don't want you to try swing for the fences initially and to think you're gonna hit a home run and become rich overnight. It's not gonna work. So I want you to start growing your each trade, look for five to 10 cent on a trade and that's it. Get out, take the profit, rinse and repeat. Do this until you're fully confident in what patterns you're pointing out and your execution on trades. And this will help you become a better trader overall. So guys, I'm proud to announce I've released a full video lesson library of a Japanese candle course that's helped me in my success story and I wanna help you. So if you are interested in educating yourself further into understanding really to understand how Japanese candle patterns work and how they can help you, go click that link. God bless.